don't shoot! Hands up, don't shoot! Hands up! <laughs> Third precinct of the Minneapolis Police Department, on fire. Nearby businesses ablaze. This is how the night of May 28th unfolded. George Floyd's arrest and death in police custody on Monday set off protests in the Twin Cities. The protesters are demanding that criminal charges be brought against the officers involved. Put their fists up! We all here! All lives matter! When that didn't happen on Thursday, some demonstrators escalated their tactics, while others tried to keep the peace. The church remains on change outside of the third precinct. Uh, just a group out there engaged in uh, peaceful activity. Police scanner audio and footage from outside the precinct provide insight into what happened. 9901, 9901 emergency. Uh, we got individuals breaching the gate at the third precinct. We also got people trying to breach the front doors. The police shoot tear gas from grenade launchers. You want more of your people to die? You coward! You want more of the people you're supposed to protect them? You this back and forth with protesters continues for about an hour. They're about to breach the back gate. They're taking heavy rocks. Heavy rocks. Please air the route that everyone should take. Cell phone. We're going cell phone. Copy. Evacuation route is cell phone. Around 10 p.m., the officers begin evacuating the precinct. Citywide, the third precinct has been compromised. Third precinct is up in flames. On Friday, one former officer was charged with murder and manslaughter in connection with George Floyd's death. 